Welcome to the 5 Minutes with Rural Video. I decided to work in the rural industry because I spent some time working in the city in an office and realised that it just wasn't for me being indoors every day. And frankly, I couldn't think of a better way to make money than being paid to go for walks. I grew up on a farm, uh, around farming community, and uh, always knew that I wanted to work in the rural sector and, uh, and live in the rural sector. I think I'm a really kind of outdoorsy person and my family is from farming as well, so it seemed like a natural progression to just go into the kind of rural industry. Well, I've always had a, a passion for the outdoor life and uh, just being out in the fresh air. And, uh, a lot easier than working inside in an office. I've always been interested in working outside. Uh, my father was a ghillie on the river and it was just a natural progression to come into this sort of work. I was born in the borders. I absolutely love this part of the world. I love its landscapes, I love its people, I love its wildlife. And I determined after I left university to come back here and work with farmers and land managers to try and enhance the landscape for, for the future, for the future wildlife and the future of the borderers. I spend most of my days working in the actual forests, um, predominantly deer control, but we also do wildlife surveys for different species that I find present, particularly ones that are protected or endangered. So my average day is managing all the components of the yards, making sure the yards looked after, the horses are looked after, the staff are looked after, the lessons are taught, the correct people are in place. We specialise in spraying, so I'd be using the jeep behind me, but on more dangerous uh, platforms, we'd use the drones here to the side of me. Uh, that eliminates risk to any operator. Most mornings go into the workshop and see what job there is to do today. One day you could be working on a tractor, the next day you could be working on a combine. Just every day is different. In an average day, we bring in the horses, we pick out their feet, and we, we check them over to make sure they're all okay and that their stables have got water, hay and everything to make them feel safe. There's no average day, that's all I can say. <laughs> Every day is different. Uh, we could be drilling, spraying, combining or maybe harvesting. I can go from doing valuations to property inspections. Uh, I really do have quite a varied job. So we need to be quite eager and willing to work with others in a, in a team. Being able to forward plan, uh, having many different plans that the weather will decide what that plan is going to be on that precise moment. People think that a knowledge of trees is important for forestry management. However, what's far more important is to be able to work well with people. You need to be focused, forward thinking, um, mechanically minded, fit and healthy. Good people skills is very important. You deal with lots of different types of people. The skills you really need is having a level head and common sense. The main thing is an understanding of the livestock um, industry and the trade within it. The skills I use daily are, are technical skills. We're interacting with a customer, customer relations. Uh, you need good communication skills. Uh, you have to be pretty organised. You're trying to make it as smooth as possible for the farmer. Living in the borders is a beautiful countryside and we get to see it from some different angles that most people don't get to see it from. The best part of the job for me is the variety and no two days being the same and the satisfaction of fixing something and giving it back to the customer repaired. I really enjoy working with other people and all the horses and it's just really good fun. I believe growing a crop from the beginning just from a little seed, watching it grow is tremendous. That is the perfect part of my job. The best part of my job is being able to organise my own diary and look at the weather forecast ahead of time and choose when I want to be outside and when I want to be in the office. The best part of my job is being outside. Every day is a different day and every day is a challenge. I love fishing. I love people to catch fish. I love the, the sound of the water, the sound of the reel screaming. Walk into a field like this, uh, which is nice and clean, a good deep dark green colour, um, the farmer's happy and it looks like it's going to yield well. No two days are the same, no seasons are the same, no weeks are the same. It's been able to wake up in the morning and expecting a new challenge. Within our company there's several females working in different roles. There's some in the accounts department, some in the parts department and we've got a female apprentice engineer. 
We have seven within our company. Um, we have three that predominantly work with the horses, but we have one girl who's an admin staff, and we have three girls who actually work on the yards, maintaining the fields, doing all the heavy lifting, driving the quad bike. 50% of the Scottish Borders company is female. Within our district, the, a third of our personnel are female, and they include our health and safety executive and ecologist. At the moment, we have, uh, we have seven staff in Tweed Forum. Uh, we have three ladies and, and four gents. The majority of our staff are female, doing various jobs from property management to accounting. However, on the Charter Severed side, there are two females. Around about a quarter of our staff are females. Everything from delivery drivers to admin staff, but there's no reason why you can't drive something like this. Within the procurement team, there is three women and two men. So, yeah, I think it's quite a development in the industry and I don't think you have to be from farming to be involved in this type of job. We offer work placements. We've got a lad in just now for work experience for the summer and we're always looking for people who are willing and keen to come and work with us. So we offer work experience through schools, colleges, um, through the skills development funds, so we do employability funds, so helping people gain skills for work. Yes, we offer work experience. We're keen to take people on in all different departments within our business. We do offer work experience. We like to try and give young people the opportunity to understand the type of work we do. We offer work placements. In fact, two of the current staff at the moment have come back up through that work placement scheme through college, through school. They did work experience with us and they're now two valued employees. We do offer apprenticeships. We currently have one girl on an SDQ level two and we are looking to expand the programme as we go. We offer apprentices in all aspects uh, and again we're keen to do that because we are looking to expand so yeah we need people. We don't offer apprenticeships as such but all five of my procurement team started as trainees and have worked their way up through the company developing their skills each year. Yeah, I think the opportunities for young folks to get employed in the environmental sector and environmental land management are really good at the moment and I think that will just increase as the years go on. It can make a difference to you. Um, you can earn money at it, you can actually do something for nature, you can do something for the environment, and fundamentally you can do something for the planet. Thanks for watching the 5 Minutes with Rural Video.